uh, and they're here to do the presentation, so we'll turn it over to you uh, So as you would do in a normal presentation, Mr. Wright, we appreciate you or your team uh, submitting your qualifications. We're glad to hear you have about 20 minutes to uh, present, and we'll have uh, questions and answers after that. I want to thank everybody for being here today. You know, here at CDC, the church is really big on safety. We also like to have fun. So I need everybody to participate here. Everybody throw their hands up there. Make sure you get safe. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> All right. Everybody ready? All right. I know you're going to take some notes. So that's for CNC construction. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Alan Ray, Vice President of Operations. I've been with the company since 2001. I have 20 years of commercial construction experience. Uh, my degrees both came from MTSU and uh, Proud to be a part of that program. Now a little bit about us. We uh, were established in 1973. We began as a really small construction company, but have grown quickly. Uh, focused on educational and healthcare facilities. We really like the education world, uh, providing the future for everybody. Our bonding capacity is 120 million dollars, and then if we need to, we have an aggregate limit of 175. Today. This is a quick overview of our organization chart. A few names that might be of importance, uh, mainly because you'll be here from them shortly. Uh, we have Brett Durham, our director of pre-construction, uh, Brady Turner, our project manager, and Damon Brent, our superintendent. And like I said, you will be hearing from them very shortly. A few little construction technology tools that we're uh, that like each year and benefit you in many different ways. First one is Pasker. It is an all-in-one document management system. Everything from RFIs to COs, RFPs, anything that needs to happen on the job site, we can do it through Pasper. Beneficial to you as the owner, it allows you to see exactly what's going on, what we're doing, and then you can access it 24-7 from your iPhone, your iPad, your computer, wherever you need to access it, it's there. We also uh, are really big into the BIM modeling. Uh, you can see what a building looks like before it's ever built. Give you an idea of what you're looking at. Uh, it helps reduce waste. You can see where Issues may arise with clash uh, detection, things like that. Also, reduces safety risk, which I know sounds really weird, but it does. You know, if you need to see how a building is looking, we can model it, make sure without going on site where things are. Don't have to worry about the safety and hard hat. Uh, we also use a company called Atlas RFID Solutions. It allows us to tag all equipment as soon as it arrives to the job site. We can then track everything on the material yard, know exactly where the product is at all times benefits to you are that it allows us to keep more man hours on the job actually building and not having to search the yard for products. And a couple of similar projects we've done very recently, we have the Engineering Technology Center at Southern Poly in Marietta, Georgia. It is a $65 million building, 122,000 square foot, lean, silver certified, packed with laboratories, auditorium, classrooms, offices, everything you can imagine at an educational facility. We also have the Harlan High School building in Harlan, Kentucky, another lean silver certified project. 265,000 square foot, three story building, gymnasium, classrooms, labs, the whole nine yards. With that, I'm going to hand things over to my director of pre construction, Brett Durham. Thank you. I'm Brett Durham. I'm the director of pre construction. I've got 10 years' experience and I've been the pre construction director for the past seven at CNC. Um, I also graduated from MTSU um, with a degree in construction and commercial management. I'm going to show you guys um, our estimate process on this project. And if you want to take a look in your books on page 9, that's where we're going to start with the division summary. Um, some of you got them. They're not in Mr. Gormley's books. So we only got several for you. Those we can take, take a look at them with this. Um, we consulted with subcontractors and vendors to prepare an accurate estimate. Uh, CNC will be self-performing the rough carpentry, door insulation, toilet, as well as the toilet accessories package on this job. Further into the estimate, um, on the estimate breakdown, some key numbers to point out is that our subcontractor amount on this project is worth uh, approximately $13.2 million or 92.5% of the total project. We carry a 5% contingency on this project. And our total estimate with taxes is approximately 15.6 million. We feel that we can give you a more accurate and precise estimate than our competitors because of some of the tools that we use and our experience on similar projects. We use wind estimates to not only estimate the project, but to also track and record costs um, so that we can come back and take a look at our success rate in the estimating department and compare that to um, 
or use that for future projects as we're bidding. This is valuable because we can itemize and compare estimated costs, actual costs, and it ben benefits you with the more accurate um, and precise estimate. We also team up early on with subcontractors that helps us prepare the budget and, that, and schedule. It's beneficial because especially contractors can review the plans and have some input as well as some value engineering ideas. An um, example that um, we like to use of uh, value engineering was on Harlan High School, which Alan touched on earlier. Uh, we had done several renovations um, on schools for them and had met with their maintenance department and we knew that they had issues with a lot of mechanical um, mechanical equipment and they were concerned with maintenance costs and, um, and longer life cycles. So we had our mechanical guys take a look at some heat pumps that were spec'd out and he actually um, recommended that we go with a different model that had um, lower maintenance costs and a longer life cycle. So those are the kind of things that we're looking at in the pre-construction phasing as we're estimating um, coming up with ideas that are going to save you time and um, money. Our subcontractor selection um, is based on is based on several factors. Everything every subcontractor is pre-qualified, and we um, take a look at several factors, including the current and proposed management team for this project, and their references from general contractors and suppliers, as well as their safety record. This is a great thing for you guys because it allows us to know who who our subcontractors are are going to be on site and make sure that they're credible and reliable. Our effort to save you time and money begins very early on in the pre-construction phase. We built a team specially for this project um, who has a lot of similar experience working on different projects that understands your needs. Um, we will be giving consideration to days where there are campus activities such as football games or other big events and just the ebb and flow of the daily campus life taking that into consideration well while we are scheduling and phasing work. We're going to take a look at our schedule now. Some of you guys who have the book you can look at a more detailed breakdown in the in the back there. Our overall schedule is a somewhat object um, somewhat aggressive, but it's also very attainable. It's an 18-month schedule. I'll point out a couple key milestone dates. We plan to receive the notice to proceed on uh, December 4th of this year, and we feel that we can start excavating footing within a month. Um, and our dry-in date is going to be October 30, 2013, um, so we can be dried in for the winter time and have our HVAC system installed and running by January of 2014 so we can go ahead and, and proceed with our uh, interior finishes and our substantial completion day of April 2nd, 2014. With that, I'd like to turn it over to Brady Turner. He, Turner, he is our proposed project manager for the Student Services Building. Thanks, Brad. Uh, I'm the proposed project manager for this project. Uh, I've approximately 15 years of experience in industrial and commercial uh, management, uh, certifications of PMP, LEED, CCM, uh, degrees in commercial CMT and geology. The last 12 projects have exceeded $20 million, and those projects have been an average of 2% of budget. Uh, to point on what uh, Brett said, our schedule management is interfaces directly with uh, scope and budget and uh, your definition of quality. So I personally would be looking at efficiencies and how to better that, that schedule. Uh, expanding on uh, the pre-construction meeting, uh, this meeting is, is basically going to look at your goals and, and how you define them and, and we're going to anticipate future needs. Um, the, the, the two main things would be evaluation of the alternatives and site-specific site requirements. Those are the two main topics that we'll be, um, we're basically going to look at those at that pre-construction meeting. The, uh, the monthly progress reports will come directly from my desk. That, that, uh, re that report will have uh, schedule changes and our, uh, our current progress. Uh, CNC controls costs through a continual and systematic management and monitoring to uh, 
uh, compare actual costs with, uh, with with the target budget, and 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 that estimated budget is is uh, it's, it aligns with your scope and quality as the quality that you define at, at the pre-construction meeting. Uh, these estimates will uh, bring us to uh, bring a project to you that's uh, not only timely and cost effective, but it also provides that exceptional quality which you're looking for. Our quality control will exceed your expectations about quality levels with budget and scope during the planning and will continue through the construction delivery with a uh, program of inspections, <coughs> tests, and certifications. Our, our coordinated team is uh, we'll be looking at the continuous measurement to avoid errors and rework, and and what that will do is that will uh, well from the pre pre construction to the post occupancy, our system will eliminate errors and and will also build on that quality and value. Uh, around the same time as that pre construction meeting, uh, we'll also have a risk assessment workshop. At this workshop, the uh, the people invited to this workshop will be, will be members of the TBR, uh, MTSU staff, and uh, some students, maybe student leaders, uh, subcontractors, and, um, and members from our safety department. And uh, at, at this workshop, we're going to assess any potential risks associated with the project. Uh, from that, that workshop, we look to reduce the costs and any claims that might arise. And, and also reduce uh, the impact on the campus, which will reduce our, our campus interruptions. Um, you know, like for instance, um, there, there's the sideline newspaper, uh, the on-campus newspaper. We're, we're going to be working directly with that newspaper to provide daily, if not weekly, uh, uh, output so that they can always provide the students with closures on the roads when it comes to maybe large equipment. You know, if we have 50-foot I-beams rolling down, you know, Road Boulevard. Uh, or we have 20 concrete trucks rolling, you know, for, for four hours on one road. We're going to shut that area down to keep the students out of that area. Safety is our main concern. <coughs> Lastly, our lead is, is going to be a, um, a major staple for this project. Um, we're we're going to deliver you a silver uh, uh, building here. Um, from from past experience, we have have. Uh, developed a historical timeline and, and, and a history with, with learning from different systems. Uh, just a couple things, site sustainability, we're looking at how, how we can re reduce the materials and recycle the excess wood and put it back into the environment. Uh, materials and resources, um, that's also, uh, we're going to pull our, all of our materials and resources from maybe a 200 mile radius, uh, you know, mainly within the mid-state. Uh, well, well, the innovation and quality that that's going to come from the, the lead professional. Okay, that, that this professional is going to be on site with us every step of the way, certifying, looking at everything, giving us recommendations, so that we don't miss a thing, so that it can be a silver. Now, when it comes to quality, David Brent is is our quality superintendent. He, he's our champion of safety. I'm going to turn it over to him. He's going to tell you specifically about this project. My name is David Brent. I'll be the proposed superintendent on the job site. I have over 15 years' experience um, in commercial construction management. Um, I have a degree from, in CCM from MTSU. Um, OSHA lead and ACI certified. A couple of jobs that I want to tell you about that I've worked on before. Um, the University of Tennessee Student Union Building was a $144 million job, and the University of Arkansas Founders Hall was a, was a $23 million job, uh, both on time and on budget. So it was. Uh, successful. Um, I'll maintain positive relationships with you, the owner, and architects, subs, and suppliers. Um, boast over 3,000 days of safety without an incident, which is great, um, and that's because of our program that I'll get into here in a minute. Site management. Um, my main my main goal is is pro or my main job is project coordination. Um, I'll do this by scheduling meetings with subs and suppliers. Uh, to make sure that we have deliveries and that the subs are on time. Uh, we'll, I'll, hold, I'll hold them accountable by having critical phase inspections um, and ensure that, that they meet code compliant. Um, we'll also have daily job site cleanup. The daily job site cleanup will 
have a composite crew that each subcontractor will supply one man to. Um, and this will help keep the job site clean and safe. Um, and then our safety program development, which we'll get into now. Um, CNC is big on safety. Our, our motto is go big or go home. Um, we're going to have an on site safety orientation where every subcontractor that comes on site will sit and watch a video. They'll go through the safety orientation, we'll document it, we'll keep that documentation on site. Um, we're also going to give them a sticker for their hard hat like this so that whenever we're on site, we can walk around and, and see who's on site, who, who has been through the class, who hasn't been through the class. Um, by doing this, it's going to, we're going to know that everyone on site has been through the program and is aware of safe practices on the job site. Um, we're going to have weekly safety meetings with subs, and they're going to take this back to their, to their employees and have daily toolbox talks. Uh, where we'll have them sign off and turn this into us so we'll know who's on site every day and that, that, that the meetings are going on. We're also going to have giveaways and drawings. This is going to be really important because it's going to help all the subcontractors know who's the safest on site and it's going to encourage them to pr perform safely. Um, things that we'll give away will be like power tools, uh, various items ladders, hard hats, safety vests, just different things that, that make them feel like we're noticing that they're being safe. Job site layout and logistics. Um, our biggest concern is you, the owner, and making sure that there's undisturbed school 